Hello everybody, my name is Brian. Welcome to WorldCom EduSight Words Level 5. We are going to learn some easy words today. Are you ready? Let's begin. Today's words are sister, drive, heat, beside, half. Let's start with sister. Not everyone has a sister. If your mom and dad have more children than you, and one or more of those children is a girl, then she is your sister. Of course, you could have more than one sister. Our example sentence is, Mark has a sister, or my sister is older than me. Next, we have drive. You are probably too young to drive a car, but you could drive a toy car. To drive means to make a car go somewhere else. For example, mom learns to drive, or I can't drive until I'm older. Next, we have heat. This is when the temperature gets very high. If there is a lot of energy from the sun or a heater in your room, this energy is called heat. It can be dangerous, so be careful. For example, we use heat for cooking, or I can feel the heat from the stove. Okay, our next word is beside. This word tells us where something is. If something is beside another thing, it is next to it. For example, my dog sits beside me, or my house is beside a park. Finally, we have half. This is a very useful word when you want to share something. Let's say you have a whole sandwich. Mm -hmm. You can cut it in half so that you have two equal pieces. Then you can give one half to your sister. Okay? For example, Mom cuts the apple in half, or let's each take half. Okay, those are our words for today. Now it's time for practice and repeat. So let's practice. Repeat after me. Sister, Mark has a sister. Okay, good. Drive. Mom learns to drive. Okay, good. Next, heat. We use heat for cooking. Okay, good job. Next one, beside. My dog sits beside me. Okay, good. Last one, half. Mom cuts the apple in half. Okay, good job, everybody. Now it's time for review. So let's read some sentences. But wait, words are missing. Can we think of the missing words? For example, my dog sits beep me. Hmm, what word can we use? Well, here are our study words. Sister, drive, heat, beside, half. So, which one can we use? Hmm. 
Aha! Yes, we can use beside. My dog sits beside me. Okay, next one. We use beep for cooking. Hmm. Ah, we use heat for cooking. Good. Next one. Mark has a beep. Hmm. Ah, Mark has a sister. All right, good. Next one. Mom cuts the apple in beep. Hmm. Ah, mom cuts the apple in half. Last one. Mom learns to beep. Hmm. Ah, mom learns to drive. Okay, very good. Sight word story. Now it's time for our sight word story. So let's read the sight word story together. Are you ready? Let's begin. My sister learns to drive. The car stops suddenly beside a gas station. A lot of heat comes from the engine. There is a man at the station. He gives my sister a big bottle of water. Pour half of it on the engine, he says. The car cools down. We can drive again. Okay, interesting story. Okay, well, that's our lesson for today. Thanks for studying with me. We'll see you next time. Take care. Hello, everybody. My name is Brian. Welcome to WorldCom EduSite Words Level 5. We are going to learn some easy words today. Are you ready? Let's begin. Today's words are forest, let's, wide, by, born. Let's start with forest. A forest is a very large area covered by trees, but it has to be a lot of trees. For example, many trees are in the forest, or don't get lost in the forest. Okay, next we have let's. This is actually a combination of two words, let and us. We use it when we want to make a suggestion or say what we want to do as a group. For example, let's go out and play ball or let's have lunch together. Okay, it's a very useful word. Our next word is wide. This word tells us about the size of something. Usually, an object has length, which tells us how long it is. But what about the other direction? That's when we can say how wide it is. It can be wide or it can be thin. For example, the river is wide or I have a very wide mouth, okay? Next, we have buy. When you go to a store and use money to get something, you buy it. For example, I will buy chocolate or my mom will buy me a present. Finally, we have born. This is an action word. Everyone does it only once. When you came into this world, you were born. Everybody was born. Okay? For example, the baby was just born. Or, my baby sister was born yesterday. Okay, 
Those are our words for today. Now it's time for practice and repeat. So let's practice. Repeat after me. Forest. Many trees are in the forest. Okay, good. Next, let's. Let's go out and play ball. Okay, good job. Wide. The river is wide. Okay, good. Next, buy. I will buy chocolate. Okay, good. Last one, born. The baby was just born. Okay, very good job. Now it's time for review. So let's read some sentences together. But wait, words are missing. Let's think of the missing words, okay? For example, many trees are in the beep. Hmm, what word can we use? Well, here are our study words. Forest, let's, wide, by, born. So which one can we use? Yes, we can use forest. Many trees are in the forest. Okay, good. Next one. The baby was just beep. Hmm. Ah, the baby was just born. All right, good. Next. The river is beep. Hmm. Ah, the river is wide. Okay. Next one. Beep. Go out and play ball. Hmm. Let's go out and play ball. That's right. Okay, good. Last one. I will beep chocolate. Hmm. Ah, I will buy chocolate. Okay, good idea. <laughs> well, be careful. Okay, <laughs> those, good job, everybody. Sight word story. Okay, now it's time for our sight word story. So, let's read the sight word story together. Are you ready? Let's begin. Let's buy a book of fairy tales. A prince was born in a kingdom. He grew up strong and brave. He decided to kill a monster in the forest. He crossed a wide river. Then he met the monster. But the monster was nice. The prince and monster became friends. Okay, it's a surprise ending. Okay, good story. That's a good lesson. That's it for today. Thank you for studying with me. We'll see you guys next time. Take care. Hello, my name is Brian. Welcome to WorldCom EduSight Words Level 5. We are going to learn some easy words today. Are you ready? Let's begin. Today's words are rest, pushed, picked, gave, can't. Our first word is rest. When you stop working for a while because you are tired, you rest. For example, dad is taking a rest or take a rest after working hard. It's a good idea. Next, we have pushed. This is the past action of push. When you push something, which means you put your strength behind something to move it, 
but you did it a while ago. You pushed it. For example, I pushed the box hard, or who pushed Timmy? Oh, that's not good. Okay. Next, we have picked. This is the past action of pick. When you pick something, which means you choose something or you take a plant from、uh, a tree or the ground, but you did it in the past, you picked it. For example, I picked some flowers, or Joy picked a red hat for her present. Next, we have gave. This is the past action of give. When you give something, which means you let someone have one of your things, but you did it a while ago, you gave it. For example, my friend gave the book to me, or my dad gave me this pen. Finally, we have can't. This is a combination of two words: can and not. Can't. It means that you are not able to do something, or that you do not have permission to do something. For example, I can't answer some questions, or I can't go out at night. Okay, those are our words. For today. Okay, now it's time for practice and repeat. So let's practice. Repeat after me. Rest. Dad is taking a rest. Okay, good job. Pushed. I pushed the box hard. Okay, good. Picked. I picked some flowers. Okay, good job. Next, gave. My friend gave the book to me. Okay, good. Last one. Can't. I can't answer some questions. All right. Good job, everybody. Now it's time for review. So let's read some sentences. But wait, words are missing. Can we think of the missing words? Yes, we can. Okay. <laughs> for example, I beep some flowers. Hmm. What word can we use? Well. Here are our study words: rest, pushed, picked, gave, can't. Which one can we use? Yes, we can use picked. I picked some flowers. Okay, good. Next, my friend beep the book to me. Hmm. Ah, my friend gave the book to me. Okay, good. Next one. Dad is taking a beep. Hmm. Ah, dad is taking a rest. Okay. Next one. I beep answer some questions. Ah, I can't answer some questions. Okay. Next one. I beep. The box hard. Hmm. Ah, I pushed the box hard. Okay, very good job, everybody. Sight word story. Now it's time for the sight word story. So let's read the sight word story together. Are you ready? Let's begin. Our teacher gave us a test today. I hope I picked all the right answers. After the test, we took a rest. 
We pushed our desks against the walls. I can't push my desk, said Sally. Don't worry, I said. I will help you. Okay, good story. Okay, that's our lesson for today. Thanks for studying with me. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hello, everybody. My name is Brian. Welcome to WorldCom Edu Sight Words Level Five. We are going to learn some easy words today. Are you ready? Let's begin. Today's words are machine, west, bought, sun, died. First, we have machine. A machine is a tool that uses electricity. The electricity makes parts of the machine move, and it does some kind of useful work for us. For example, I can use a washing machine, or a car is a type of machine. Next, we have west. This is a direction like north, south, and east. West is the opposite of east. The sun rises in the east and goes down in the west. Our example sentence: The plane flies west, or the explorers went west. Next, we have bought. This is the past action of buy. When you buy something, which means you go to a store and pay money to get something, but you did it a while ago, you bought it. For example, Dad bought me a toy car, or I bought an ice cream cone. Okay. Next, we have sun. S O N. The word son describes a member of your family. If your dad has a boy child, that is his son. Of course, if your mom has a boy child, that is also her son. Okay. If you are a boy, you are the son of your mother or your father. For example. The man is playing with his son, or mom has two daughters and a son, so two girls and a boy. Finally, we have died. This is the past action of die. When an animal dies, it stops living. If it happened a while ago, it died. For example. The old tree died, or the evil dragon died in the story. Okay, so we can see it's not just animals; it's also plants. When something is alive and it's not alive anymore, it dies. Okay, so those are our words for today. Now it's time for practice and repeat. So let's practice. Repeat after me. Machine. I can use a washing machine. Okay, good. Next, west. The plane flies west. Okay, good. Bought. Dad bought me a toy car. Okay, good job. Next, son. The man is playing with his son. Okay, good job. Next, died. The old tree died. Okay, good job. Now it's time for review. So let's read some sentences together. 
But wait, words are missing. Can we think of the missing words? For example, dad beep me a toy car. So what word can we use in the blank? Well, here are our study words. Machine, west, bought, son, died. Which one can we use? Yes, we can use bought. Good. Dad bought me a toy car. Okay, next. The man is playing with his beep. Hmm. Ah, the man is playing with his son. Next. I can use a washing beep. Hmm. Ah. I can use a washing machine. Good. Next one. The old tree beep. Hmm. Ah, the old tree died. Hmm. Okay. Last one. The plane flies beep. Hmm. Ah, the plane flies west. Okay. Good job, everybody. Sight word story. Now it's time for our sight word story. So let's read the sight word story together. Are you ready? Let's begin. I bought a ticket for an interesting movie. A machine traveled through time. It wanted to kill the son of a famous person, but the machine became. The son's friend. In the end, the machine died to protect the son. The son escaped into the west. <laughs> Interesting story. Okay, well that's our lesson for today. Thanks for studying with me. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hello, everybody. My name is Brian. Welcome to WorldCom Edu Sight Words Level Five. We are going to learn some easy words today. Are you ready? Let's begin. Today's words are milk, soft, desert, truck, cat. First, we have milk. Milk is something you drink. It is white and comes from cows. It is good for you. Cows give us milk, or I put milk on my cereal. Next, we have soft. Soft is used to describe how something feels when you touch it. Soft is nice and smooth. Not my hand, <laughs> and you can press it. You can press it in a little. It is the opposite of hard, right? For example, my new pillow is soft. Ah, oh, it's nice. Or silk is a very soft material. It's not silk. Okay. Next, we have desert. A desert is a place. Like mountains or the coast, but in a desert there is very little water. Because there is very little water or no water, there are no plants, or sometimes a few plants, but sometimes strange plants. For example, camels live in the desert, or we can see strange plants in the desert. Next, we have truck. A truck is a type of vehicle. It is big, and it can carry a lot of things. For example, my dad drives a big truck. Or, be very careful around the truck. That's a good idea. Okay. Finally, we have cat. A cat is an animal. Many people like to have a cat as a pet. They are soft 
and make a meow sound. <laughs> okay. For example, the cat is playing, or my dog was scared by a cat, <laughs> which is true. My dog sometimes is scared of a cat. Okay, those are our words for today. Okay, now it's time for practice and repeat. So let's practice. Repeat after me. Milk. Cows give us milk. Okay, good. Next, soft. My new pillow is soft. Okay, good job. Next, desert. Camels live in the desert. Okay, good job. Truck. My dad drives a big truck. Okay, good. Last one. Cat. The cat is playing. Okay, very good job, everybody. Now it's time for review. So let's read some sentences together. But wait, words are missing. Can we think of the missing words? For example, my new pillow is beep. Okay. What word can we use? Well, here are our study words. Milk, soft, desert, truck, cat. So, which one can we use? Hmm. It's nice. Okay. Yes, we can use soft. My new pillow is soft. That's nice. Okay, good. Next, my dad drives a big beep. Hmm. Ah, my dad drives a big truck. Good. Next, cows give us beep. Hmm. Ah, cows give us milk. Okay, good. Next, the beep is playing. Hmm. Ah, the cat is playing. Okay, good. Last one. Camels live in the beep. Hmm. Ah, camels live in the desert. Okay, very good. Sight word story. Okay, now it's time for the sight word story. So let's read the sight word story together. Are you ready? Let's begin. A truck drives through the desert. A cat sits in the passenger seat. It wants some milk. The driver pets the soft cat. He promised to stop at the next town. Then I will buy you all the milk you want, he says. Okay, that's a nice truck driver. Okay, that's our story for today. Thank you for studying with me as always. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.